Hey guys, this is Rachel with Cashmere Hair and I wanted to do a quick video on how to measure the right length for your hair, how to figure out which length of cashmere hair is gonna be the right length for you. And there's a few things that you can do. You need a tape measure and you can use a ruler um, or a tape measure works better just because you can go pretty long with it. And you wanna just put the end of the tape measure or the ruler up to your earlobe, right below your earlobe and then measure down to the end of your hair. And wherever that ends up is gonna give you a good indicator of what length that you should get. So mine is at a little bit past 18 inches. So if I tried to clip in the 16 inch, it's gonna be way too short. And I'll show you a great example. I have one of the 16 inch tracks here. This is the California Blonde, and I made it wavy just to show you also, if you plan on making it wavy, it's gonna be even shorter. So at 16 inches, um, I'm gonna clip this one on the side, because it's a side piece, but it's gonna be way too short for my hair. You can see my hair goes way past it. Um, I'm also gonna clip it in kind of underneath here, just hold it up right now, because the back pieces are gonna be clipped in lower than that side piece. So. It's getting closer, but it's still shorter than my hair. I don't know if you can see that, but it's still shorter than my hair. So that's not gonna be a good length for me to get. Um, and this is the 16 inch. If I was to go with the 18 inch length that we have, I'm cutting it pretty close. If my hair grows any longer, I'm gonna outgrow that length really quickly. And also, it's just gonna only be right at the same length as mine, which is great if I just wanna add some fullness, but if I wanna add any kind of length, uh, I'm not gonna get it from the 18 inch. So for me right now, I wear the 20 inch. I would recommend the 20 inch if your hair is at 18 inches. Um, even if your hair is at 16 inches, the 20 inch is probably a good length for you too. It gives you a lot of options. It gives you a lot of length and fullness. And it's just such a gorgeous, perfect length. Um, and I have one of those right here. Let's see, this is the 20 inch one. You can see a big difference. So that's a good, this one's curled, but Obviously 16 and 20, that's a four inch difference. And if I were to clip this one on the side of my head, you see it's, it's right about at the same length as my hair now when it's clipped in on the side. And then when I clip it in on the back, which is gonna be like the longest piece underneath here, that's gonna give me some nice length, which I really want too. <clears throat> and then I also have one of our 24 inch um, tracks this is a custom length, but you can order these. We do have these available if your hair is longer than 20 inches. Um, I can wear this length too. It still looks pretty natural on me as well. And um, I'll show you underneath. So it gives me a lot of length. My natural length is here. And then this one comes down, all the way down here. So just gives you um, a good idea of how to measure your hair, how to figure out which length is gonna be the best for you. If you have any questions, please call us, email us, we're happy to help you. Also take into consideration too, if you wear your hair curly and you're measuring it, you wanna, and you always wear it curly, you wanna measure it without pulling it straight because that's kind of where your hair is gonna be at. Um, but it's a good idea to get an idea of what it would be at both. So like if your hair is curled, um, it would probably cut off a few inches of where it hits. So at like, it would probably be, if your hair was 16 inches and you curled it, it's gonna be at like 15 or 14 inches. Um, so take that into consideration too when you're ordering your length. If you want some, to add some actual length, choose the longer length. Um, again, if you have any questions, give us a shout and we're happy to help you.